Now on 11 at 11, it was a devastating fire that gutted historic downtown Loveland. Now more than a year later, many business owners say they are months from opening their doors again. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly got a firsthand look at the progress and what the community is doing to move ahead. Kristen. And with a Loveland Strong Street Fest, we'll celebrate new and returning businesses. Proof this historic stretch caught fire, but the community's passion for it never really burned out. Jeannie Duke is proof historic Loveland is taking shape again. She owns this shop in the heart of downtown. It's nice for the locals or even people who come who are on vacation. She says last May's fire didn't touch her craft business, but devastated her sales. Since it happened, I have been jumping through hoops to get people to realize that, hey, we're still here. But news of a festival to celebrate this block's rebirth is a sign of progress. We had a blank canvas. Um, you know, an opportunity to, you know, bring the building up. Mark Weehy is part owner of this building. He says this space, once gutted by the fire, will now be a bar called Bishop's Corner. The former apartments above it will be hotel suites. Can't wait to get back in here. The excitement is shared by the owner of neighboring Tano. He walked us through the three-story renovation that's caused millions and tested his will. It might be an emotional decision, but I think that, um, you know, how do you walk away from something you put so much time and effort into? More than a year later, he's yeah, eager to open the doors we're again. Do I'm excited to have him back because we're going to we're going to be bigger and better. We are still here. We are still on the map. Now, many of the businesses on this block won't be completely ready to reopen by the time the festival begins September 14th, but they tell me they plan to do so partially in order to let the public see just how far they've come. Reporting live in Loveland this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. Kristen, 